All right, welcome back, guys. Today's infrared sauna question is on outdoor saunas. It's from John. John says, hi, I've watched a lot of your sauna videos, and it's great to get some unbiased reviews on these products. It's difficult to, or it's a difficult market to navigate. I see in general you're a huge fan of Radiant Health, Clear Light, and High Tech Health. Do you have a recommendation for the best four to five person outdoor sauna? After hearing some of your reviews, I was thinking the Sanctuary Full Spectrum Outdoor Sauna. Is there anything else that you would recommend? information which might be helpful it really needs to be outside which limits my choice as i don't have a space for outside i'm not too concerned about the price i'm looking to get it shipped to bali indonesia appreciate any feedback thanks john hi john welcome um yeah i'd be happy to help you with this question um except for the last part that kind of throws me for a loop uh, i probably wouldn't be able to help you with shipping to bali um i don't know of any third parties that uh, serve bali um that's going to be pretty difficult to get a mainstream sauna ship there without getting a third party shipping company to handle the final leg of the destination. That might be something that you can arrange. Um, you would have to call each individual company uh, yourself and chat with them and see if they would be open to helping you facilitate something like that. But let's get into the infrared sauna or the, the actual outdoor sauna portion um, to help you choose one. Really, I think you're on the right track. Um, I don't think most of the time people are trying to sell indoor saunas for an outdoor application right and they suggest getting a sauna cover and doing all this other stuff in reality an outdoor sauna if it's really going to withstand the elements long term it's got to have two things it has to have a real roof <laughs> and the actual exterior paneling on the sauna walls need to be treated with something Otherwise, a year from now, you know, the sun, the rain, the wind, everything, it's going to cause the paneling on the sauna to split. Um, it just, if you stick an indoor sauna outside, the moisture is just going to wick into the dry sauna walls. It's going to have issues. Using a sauna cover is not going to cut it. The only way that you could get something like that to work is to build a sauna I'm sorry, you could build like a shed roof structure, almost like a pole barn or something like that. The issue then, is, you don't have this problem in Bali, but the issue then is people don't understand that most sauna um, cabinetry is not insulated. It's not insulated to the degree, like if you were in a northern climate, if somebody else comes across this and they live in Maine where I go, and they think that they're going to get a sauna, stick it outside and just build a roof over it and then use a cover, yeah, it might protect it a little bit from the elements, but when you get snow and rain blowing in from the side, it's going to hit the bottom and build up or splash up on the uh, the base around the perimeter of the sauna. The cover is not going to cut that. The moisture is really going to get in there. You're going to have an issue. Not to mention the sauna itself, especially in a cold climate, is constantly fighting the ambient temperature um, outside. So if it's cold, you've got to have an outdoor sauna that's designed to, to do that with insulated walls. You also probably want a sauna that's 220 or at least 20 amp so that you have a ton of power on tap. Um, like I said, it's going to, you're essentially creating, you know, a structure, a house or something. So the only way that you would get an indoor sauna to work um, is to essentially build a room within a room, if that makes any sense. So based on that, I mean, the only sauna that I would recommend that's outdoor, that's infrared, that I know of right now that works really well is the Clear Light Sanctuary. They've got, um, I can't remember, they have two versions. One is a two person, so it's a lot narrower. Actually, I have a blog post on the, on the blog, cleverleverage.com, use the search box, just put in outdoor infrared sauna. You should pull up some pictures of the different models, but there's a five person one that's really big. It's got heaters in the front, it's got beautiful glass windows so you can see out, especially if you're gonna put it in a backyard or if you happen to live on some acreage and you wanna create like a little oasis with a view or you've got wildlife or deer, that's kind of what I want for Maine. And um, unless something else comes along in the meantime, I will be going for the five person clear light sanctuary. So they may give you a discount on that if you mention coupon code mattjustice-500. There should be some uh, some sort of percentage off for you there. The sanctuary outdoor models are pretty expensive though, so I don't know exactly what the discount will be. Um, what else is in here? I would not recommend putting a regular clear light premiere or sanctuary, not a radiant health, not a high tech health, none of those. I would not put those outside. I wouldn't put them under a pergola roof and I certainly wouldn't use them with um, an outdoor sauna cover. The sauna is gonna get ruined. Um, 
I even did some research for a lady because uh, they have barrel saunas and stuff like at Costco because I was thinking about that. You said Bali, which is really difficult to ship stuff to <clears throat> without a supplier there or some sort of a contact in the, in the supply chain. Um, but I was thinking about the barrel saunas and stuff like that that they have at Costco or that are re readily available. I was going to buy one of those for myself. The only thing that held me back is that I found some reviews. I think I posted about it on the blog. I found some reviews where um, even the barrel saunas that are supposedly, you know, you can seal the wood and treat them and all that stuff and they're supposed to be moisture resistant and blah, blah, blah. There was a couple people that bought those. <coughs> Pardon me. And uh, the wood on the top, which is, it's, you know, it, nothing is different from the roof, from the sidewalls on a barrel sauna, but it's, it's all the same. But basically they said that the wood was shrinking on the top and every time it would rain, it would seep through. And then I found out that the barrel sauna companies actually make a secondary product that you have to buy that is an additional roof structure if you really want to waterproof it. So when I saw that, I was like, okay, so if they sell an additional roof, you know, add-on product, obviously the barrel is not really weatherproof on its own. So that kind of deterred me. Read a couple of those reviews. Um, Again, you should be able to find that stuff somewhere on Clever Leverage. Just use the search box, do outdoor infrared sauna. You should be able to see the, because um, usually when I find stuff like that, I link to it. And so you should be able to see those reviews. That deterred me from getting a barrel sauna because it really doesn't have a traditional weatherproof roof either. And so with the sun beating down on it and the rain and all the elements, it's, it's just not going to end well. So anyway, John, I don't know if that was helpful. I know that you are you know, halfway across the world from where I'm at. But um, if you have any other questions or if you need a point of contact at any of the companies, get a hold of me and I can help you. Have a great day. See you guys in tomorrow's video.